So, uh, from my understanding, this scene I'm on now is, well, the last scene of this route. I'm probably going to do the other route to get a good ending, the other way of going about it. Because there's some scenes we miss if we don't do it that way. So what is the name of this scene? Clean Teeth. The morning light seems to reach further to Annie's room than it does into mine. This results in my waking up earlier than I would have if I had gone back to my room last night. as had previously been our routine. I did not realize it until this morning, but this is the first time we've actually spent the night together. A small movement from my partner's still slumbering form causes me to look to the side. Her ha hair splayed across her face, and they continues to sleep peacefully curled up next to me. It's slightly weird seeing her without her trademark twin tails, but it's also a look I could get used to. The small size of the beds here necessitates her curling up, but I'm pretty sure she would have done so anyway. The covers are nearly over her head, and I smile as an errant strand of her hair causes her nose to twitch slightly. And unable to help myself, I draw her a little closer, a move which she seems to think is a good idea. I wonder why she would think it's a good idea. Uh, the errant things means erring or straying from the proper course of standards. Uh, it can also mean traveling in search of adventure or of some type of worm of a predatory kind that moves about actively and is not confined to a tube or burrow. Obviously that definition errant. is what it meant. Her steady breath raises a trail of goosebumps on my chest, but I don't mind. I am no longer tired, but I do not feel the need to move from my current position. And it's warm body and repose against mine is far too comfortable to move. In repose. <laughs> hmm. A state of rest, sleep, or tranquility, or composure, or... I don't know, there's a bunch of definitions, I'm not reading them all. I gaze up at the ceiling and consider how it is that we got to this point. We've been close for a while, but not this close. It seems like only yesterday that she ran into me in the hallway and after apologizing decided to take an interest in my well-being. What is the music? Aria de Le... I don't know how to pronounce that. Does it mean like song of or something? Um, I don't know. It means star aria? Apparently. I don't know how to pronounce it though. L'Etoile. So Aria de L'Etoile. Aria de L'Etoile. L'Etoile. But that grew into something else, which I at least was not expecting. One thing is for certain, having found Emmy, I will try as hard as I can not to lose her. My morning musing is interrupted by further movement from Emmy. Her eyes flutter open and she seems briefly confused by my presence in her bed as well as her current state of dress, which is non-existent. Then she smiles happily and sits up, her face looking down at me. I do... Uh... She's cute with the, um, pig tail, twin tails too, but I think she's cuter with her hair down like this, in my opinion. But that's just me. Good morning, Hassel. Hi. Sleep well? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Exhausting day yesterday, you know? I think back over yesterday's trip to the graveyard, it's 8.10 in the morning. Yeah, glad to hear you slept well. How'd you sleep? I was just looking at what's on her table. There's a container of something with tissues inside it. The clock th radio thingy, whatever. Then the bunny with a carrot. <laughs> I do like the bunny. How'd you sleep? Well enough, although you kept hogging the covers. This turns me to shove in a stuck out tongue. I chuckle, and Emmy giggles a little, and we fall quiet for a while. I soak up the feeling of how right it all seems, waking up with Emmy by me, crammed into a bed made for one person. It's something I could get used to. Hey, Hussau. Hmm? Thanks for sticking around. No problem. Saved me the walk back anyway, right? This draws another giggle, but then Emmy's expression turns serious again. Oh, she does look serious. No, really. I kept trying to push you away, because I thought I, that was the right thing to do, and you stuck around through it all. I haven't made any of this easy for you, but you stuck it out anyway. 
So, really, I mean it. Thank you. She punctuates this by giving me a kiss, pulling back and looking at me with an, express, an expression of affection. I reach up and ruffle her hair, smiling all the while. I'm stupidly lucky, I think, to have come through everything after my heart attack and to somehow have found this girl is nothing short of a miracle. You're very welcome, Emmy. I couldn't bear the thought of giving you up. I'll even continue to stick around, if you want. I'd like that. That settles it, then. I don't know how long my heart will keep working, and I don't even really know what I'll do after this year is over, apart from going to university. As long as Annie's around, I think I'll be okay. I've managed to help her, and she's managed to help me. If we keep doing that, we'll be okay, I think. So, Hassel. Hmm? What do you want to do today? And, like, th that's the end? Huh. So, that was a happier ending, but because we started going on the bad round, it feels kind of neutral-ish, but I want to be quiet because of the credits here. Uh, I knew I said I was going to be quiet, but is that like, uh, like beta artwork of Emmy, like what she could have looked like? She changed a lot. Kinda. She always seemed to always have the twin tails, but otherwise, than that she seemed to change a lot. There's the enemy we know. <laughs> yeah, sorry I wasn't quiet during that like I thought, but I wanted to comment my thoughts on that artwork before I forgot. But uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I don't know, that ending was happier, sure, but it felt kind of neutral to me because we started it going down the bad ending. Maybe if we went from the down the good ending completely, I would have felt a lot, you know, happier with it. But we'll see, I guess. Cause I'm, plan to do that next is go down the actual full happy route or good ending whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm.